We are constantly warned about the dangers of overpopulation, a planet teeming with too many people. But what if the real crisis of the 21st century is the exact opposite? What if the most advanced, wealthiest nations on Earth are literally running out of people? This isn't a distant theory. It's a demographic reality happening right now. We are about to visualize the startling population collapse unfolding across the developed world. A story told through data of plummeting birth rates and aging societies. These are the countries facing a future of ghost towns, a shrinking workforce, and a social order turned upside down. The numbers are terrifying, and they paint a picture of a silent crisis that will define the coming century. The story of demographic decline began in the land of the rising un. Japan is the canary in the coal mine for population collapse, a nation that has been living in the future of this crisis for decades. Following its post-war economic miracle, Japanese society underwent a profound transformation. Wealth soared, but birth rates plummeted. The traditional family structure gave way to intense work culture and a focus on individual pursuits. The result is a fertility rate that has been stuck far below the replacement level of 2.1 children per woman for a generation. A country needs that number simply to keep its population stable, and Japan is nowhere close. The consequences are now visible everywhere. You can feel the eerie quiet in rural Japanese villages where shops are shuttered and schoolyards are empty because there are no children left. One third of Japan's population is already over the age of 65. The nation sells more adult diapers than infant diapers. This isn't just a quirky statistic. It's the sound of a society growing old and disappearing. But Japan's story, as dramatic as it is, is just the beginning of a global trend. What happens when this demographic winter spreads from the Far East and takes root in the very heart of Western civilization? The trend of demographic decline is not isolated to Japan. It has firmly taken hold across Europe, creating a continent-wide aging crisis. In Italy, the concept of La Dolce Vita is clashing with the harsh reality of demographic winter. The nation, famous for its large, close-knit families, now has one of the lowest fertility rates in the world. The grandeur of an ancient Italian piazza, a space once filled with the chaotic energy of children, is now often populated by the elderly and tourists, the sound of youthful laughter conspicuously absent. The economic strain is immense, as a shrinking workforce is tasked with supporting a ballooning population of retirees. To the east, Russia faces its own version of the crisis, born from the ashes of the Soviet Union. The economic chaos and social despair of the 1990s led to a catastrophic drop in birth rates and a spike in mortality, particularly among men. The population went into a freefall from which it has never fully recovered. For a nation with vast territory and geopolitical ambitions, a shrinking population is a strategic nightmare. These countries in Europe and the former Soviet bloc are now grappling with the slow, grinding reality of a society in reverse. But their declines have been spread over decades. A far more dramatic and consequential collapse is now beginning to unfold. What happens when the world's most populous nation, a country of 1.4 billion people, suddenly hits the brakes and goes into a demographic reverse? For decades, the story of China was one of explosive growth in its economy 
and its population. But beneath this story was a ticking time bomb, the one-child policy. Enacted in 1979, this strict measure of population control was brutally effective. It curbed growth, but it also created a demographic cliff. For the first time in centuries, India has surpassed China as the world's most populous nation. But more importantly, China's population has begun to shrink, an inflection point that arrived years earlier than experts predicted. The sheer scale of this reversal is staggering. Because the decline was engineered and so rapid, China will grow old before it has a chance to grow truly rich on a per capita basis. You can already see the ghost infrastructure of this future. Vast, modern apartment complexes, brightly lit, but with a palpable silence, built for a generation of children that will never come. The economic consequences are profound, threatening to derail China's ambition of becoming the world's dominant superpower. A shrinking workforce means labor shortages and slower economic growth. A rapidly aging population means the country's pension and healthcare systems are facing insolvency. But the impact goes beyond economics. What does it do to a society when there are more grandparents than grandchildren? A phenomenon known as the 421 problem, where a single child is responsible for two parents and four grandparents. The social fabric itself begins to fray. The individual stories of Japan, Italy, Russia and China are all part of a larger global narrative. The climax of this story is not a single event, but a slow, inexorable turning point in human history, the Great Inversion. For the first time, humanity is facing a future where the old will outnumber the young. By 2070, the number of people on Earth over the age of 65 will be greater than the number of people under 18. This is the ultimate reveal, a demographic shift so profound that we are only beginning to understand its consequences. The engine of human progress has always been youthful energy, innovation, and growth, a world that is top-heavy with the elderly is a world that is inherently more conservative, more risk-averse and less dynamic. The economic model that has defined the modern era, one based on perpetual growth fueled by an expanding population and consumer base, is fundamentally broken in a shrinking world. Pension systems designed in an era of high birth rates become unsustainable pyramid schemes. Healthcare systems buckle under the strain of caring for an aging populace. And the geopolitical map is redrawn as nations with shrinking, aging population see their global influence wane. This isn't a prediction. It is the mathematical reality baked into the demographic data of today. The population collapse is here and it is irreversible for the foreseeable future. The fallout from this great inversion will define the 21st century. The world will be split into two camps, the shrinking, aging nations of the developed world and the growing, youthful nation of the developing world, particularly in Africa and parts of South Asia. The future of economic growth and geopolitical power will inevitably shift towards these younger regions. Countries like Japan and Germany may have to rely on massive advancements in robotics and automation simply to maintain their standard of living. Immigration will become a matter of national survival for many Western nations, creating immense social and political friction. The deeper meaning is that for the first time, humanity as a species is facing a crisis not of scarcity, but of absence. We have mastered the arts of extending life, but have lost the collective will to create it in sufficient numbers. This 
Demographic decline is a story of success in a way. The success of economic development, education, and female empowerment, all of which are correlated with lower fertility rates. But it is a success that has led to a profound existential challenge. We have built a world that is better than ever for individuals. But we have forgotten the simple arithmetic required to sustain a society. The empty cradles of today are the ghost nations of tomorrow. If you find data-driven stories that reveal the deep trends shaping our future compelling, consider following for more critical analysis.